Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be going over three scriptures in the Bible that talks about money. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I have been wanting to make a video like this for a very long time, and the reason why I haven't is really because of fear, and um, I don't really know why, but there is... As a Christian, it can be kind of intimidating to talk about your faith or talk about God, um, especially on social media, due to a lot of various reasons. For me, um, I think censorship and all of that was a major um, red flag, and I was like, I'll never put anything on the channel about God or any Christianity or anything. I was going to keep that private. Well, as I've gotten older, I have realized I do like two things in life. I like money and I want to continue to grow my relationship with Christ and I know that the only way for me to grow is going to do the things that I feel like God has put on my heart to do and one thing that I know he's put on my heart to do is to talk about money to teach about it and um, to share about it I feel like that's one talent of mine and the second thing that I've been refusing to do was um, to really talk about it on the YouTube channel I was trying to keep that all kind of private um, the other reason why it has been inspired me to do this is for me, myself, I've noticed the more I spend on worldly pursuits, the more worldly I have become. And I'm hoping that during this time of really making videos for God and focusing on I'm hoping that it will change me and get me to um, be more like Jesus. That is the goal. So. The area that I really want to stay focused on is money because, hello, that's what we like to talk about on this channel, and might as well share biblical principles that God has said about money because at the end of the day, he is the one who owns all of this stuff, and for me to live and to be able to work and to go play tennis or do whatever is all thanks to him. So I'm going to try to keep this video uh, pretty short, and I'm actually going to set a five minute um, timer so that we don't go overboard and overload anyone. So we set our timer and let's go ahead and jump into the three scriptures that we should talk about today. Hebrews 13 5 and it says keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said never will I leave you never will I forsake you and this is the NIV translation. So for one, the key point that he's saying right there is, well, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Um, one area that that has hit me is recently, I've been really wanting to get a motorcycle. I wanted to get a dual sport um, Yamaha like YT250 or something, and I could buy it right now, but I know that's something, do I really need it? And that's something I've been really praying about and asking God, no, I probably don't really need this right now. Maybe later, but not right now. So that's where I feel like it's saying, be content with what you have. I have a good truck, it works fine, it gets me to A to B, and well, that's what I have right now. So I'm gonna be content with that. Um, the other thing is don't um, live your life free from the love of money. And that's kind of a hard one because when you're in real estate, when you're in business, you um, it can get very easy to get that drive. To like, oh, I gotta make more money, I gotta save more, I gotta, I gotta get more money, um, whatever it is. The other one is um, Proverbs 13:11, and I really like this website because it highlights below, it says it's going to target greed, work, and debt. So all three of those. Um, Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. So um, that's pretty basic in that way, and that's nice to see because it's saying, you know, little by little money grows. Um, a while ago in 2021 when the crypto bull market came around it was very easy to take a small sum of money like 2000 and it was easy for that to 10x to 20,000 well it's not like that so um, much today right it's a little bit slower and there's not really a crypto bull, crypto bull market so money is taking a lot longer for for me to grow it right um, so yeah if you're trying to save up for something definitely be patient and, and focus on that one thing for me right now i'm trying to get a house that is exactly the number one thing i'm focused on and the best way i see the scripture is to say well we're gonna save little by little to get to the end goal of hopefully getting that house if 
that is God's will for um, me to do, is he's saying dishonest money dwindles away. Um, I mean, that's, that's it right there. So if you're getting money that is not in an honest way, it's in a dishonest way, well, the money will most likely dwindle away. Let's look at the other one. The bottom one is going to target greed and materialism. Um, this is 1 Timothy 6 9, and it says, and this is a big one. It says, Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Um, recently, I have made this mistake, and this happened actually on KuCoin. I was making a trade, and I was hoping that I could just quickly turn 500 into a um, thousand and that didn't work it actually ended with me losing six thousand so definitely take in mind um, there's so many get rich quick screams out there and it's really they're always gonna be there so when anyone's pressuring you like this is your once in a lifetime opportunity um, you won't want to miss this you will not be a millionaire without it a lot of those are sales tactics to get you guys into buying their get rich quick scheme and some of it may work okay it might the best thing that I would say to approach that with is wait 24 hours before making a decision because within those 24 hours if, especially if you sleep on it you'll wake up with a more clear mind in the morning um, thinking okay is this actually worth it you kind of revise what that person's trying to sell you you think about it you pray about it of course and then um, if that's something you feel like God is saying hey you should do this well then go ahead um, see what happens if you don't feel that then you should not probably do that so that's our five minute timer guys because we got to watch the clock and make sure we don't go on and on thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll see you on the next one